It's time again for another installment of The Basics, and recently I talked about on this show how easy it is to make a Federation deck in the Star Trek customizable card game. And that's all fine and dandy, but somebody out there that watches my show wanted to know how easy it is to make a Federation deck for the Delta Quadrant. That's a very interesting question. I'm going to answer it for you right now. Making a Delta Quadrant Federation deck, believe it or not, is just as easy as making a normal Federation deck for the Alpha Quadrant. Because you have a lot of awesome personnel that came out in the Voyager expansion. Now, the main bridge crew of Voyager notwithstanding, like Tuvok, Tom Paris, Harry Kim, and obviously Captain Janeway and Chakotay and the Doctor and all that, you also have excellent secondary characters with great attributes like Rudolph Ransom from the Equinox, Mariah Henley who does have a couple useful skills and a Maquis icon, Noah Lessing. Everybody remember Chell? Not only does he have the Maquis icon but he has four awesome attributes and he's an engineer to start. Computer skill, anthropology, biology, and navigation. You have Cavett with three great attributes, leadership, anthropology, transporter skill, Crewman Mitchell. You've got cards like Hogan, that's a dual affiliation card. You can play him as Federation or non-aligned. Lon Suter has a lot of great attributes, he's an engineer, and he may initiate a personnel battle against any affiliation. That could come in huge on an away mission. Dr. Fitzgerald, you have Vulcans like Vorik. A lot of great attributes there. Staddy, if she's on a Federation ship, it's range plus one, plus two if it's Intrepid class. That brings me to the ships you can use in the Federation. Obviously you have ships like the USS Voyager. I have the generic USS Intrepid, which works perfectly. The USS Equinox. The Delta Flyer. And Type 9 Shuttlecraft. Now, one of the other things that comes in really handy with a Delta Quadrant Federation deck is you have non-aligned personnel and ships and dual personnel at your disposal. You have the Baxial, which could be carried aboard any ship like a shuttle if Neelix is around. You have cards like Kess. She's a civilian, but she has empathy times two. Physics, navigation, treachery, medical. She may not be stunned. Tannis, another Okampa that has Empathy times 2, Science, Biology, Leadership, Treachery, and you have the non-aligned versions of some of the Bridge crew and other Voyager crew, and in this case I have Bolana Torres. Double Engineer, Double Computer Skill, Astrophysics, Cybernetics, Transporter Skill. That comes in handy and it complements your normal Federation cards as well as some of the ones you have that are dual affiliation. It works out very well if you start building a Federation deck for the Delta Quadrant. It is so easy and there are so many cards available to use for it. Now that being said, I did have a Delta Quadrant Federation deck put together at one point. It was very short lived because as good as it was, I became intrigued with the Kazon and the Herogen, and I did put together a Kazon deck for a short time as well, but for all intents and purposes, the Federation for the Delta Quadrant is the way to go for building a deck, because as I mentioned, you have all those awesome Federation personnel and ships already there, and the non-aligned and dual affiliation cards that you can use. So it makes your deck a dual threat for the Delta Quadrant, it really does. That's all for today. Have a great day, everybody.